Hey everyone, today I'm going to swatch this graphite tint paint pen set and I'm going to also uh, show you how the pencils look next to it. So this is the box it comes in. It's kind of plastic. <laughs> it's not kind of, it's plastic. And it feels really sturdy. It reminds me of the um, Koi sets, sets, which I'm not, the Sakura Koi, I'm not a big fan of the watercolors in those sets, but I do like the uh, boxes. I think they're really great for uh, kind of on the go for plastic boxes. So this is how it looks. It comes with a water brush and uh, a piece of sponge. And there you have some spaces to mix the colors. And then there are these. The uh, pants kind of snap out rather easily. Um, I don't know, I guess that's kind of useful if you maybe have other sets with the same packaging so you could move the colors around and then this one does the same. So that's how it works. And I'm just going to spray these a little bit. It's, they kind of soak up the water, but they do activate or re-wet uh, pretty easily. So I had the feeling kind of when I saw this that the colors are going to be very muted and they are to a degree, but I was still uh, kind of pleasantly surprised um, of the colors. So I'm just going to swatch them in the same order that they are here. And I'll have a list of everything below. So this color is autumn brown. And I don't know, I thought that they would be more like a graphite with a tint. So I thought they would be more gray, but they're actually more colorful, which I don't mind, uh, I think. Especially, you know, if you're going to have a 12 set, you do need some uh, differences. So this is called Russet. This one is Meadow. This is Green Gray. Then we have Slate Gray. It's a really pretty um, kind of muted... I don't know, like it reminds me of uh, Perlene Green, I guess, in the tone of it, this bluish, dark, muted green. This is Ocean Blue. Then we have Steel Blue. Next is Dark indigo aubergine and I'm just going to drop some drops so we can get more um, granulation this is juniper I don't think you'll be surprised. This is one of my favorite colors. It's giving me um, dusk pink vibes. This is Port, also really pretty. It's a bit warmer. And last but not least, this is Graphite Gray. So these are the swatches and then the pencils, as you can see here, are quite uh, similar. I just scribbled a little bit, but we can do this again. So this is autumn brown. I'll scribble first and then we can, um, the, the pencils are also water activated. Next we have russet. Then we have Meadow. Then Green Gray. Where are 
are you? Green, gray. I really like this color, slate green. Um, these are also available on Derwent's website. They're in the UK, I think. Uh, these are available open stock, the pens. So if you just want to try one and see if you like it, you can do that. Uh, ocean blue. That's ocean blue. Really nice kind of turquoise. That's giving me lunar blue vibes, the Daniel Smith color. Uh, what else do we have? The next one is steel blue. Then we have, where am I? Oh, this, okay, this, this one is the last one. Dark indigo. Yeah, this is dark indigo. Then we have aubergine. So I think they got it quite accurately. I'm guessing that these are like similarly formulated. Uh, this is juniper. And then this one is port. Really pretty color. And then there, I, I have the 24 pencil set and I don't have their graphite gray. So this was kind of the, a close match that I could find. Not sure, this is called Storm. So let's look at the pencils. I just got these a couple of days ago. I haven't uh, had a chance to play with them a lot. I, I don't know, I'm a bit kind of conflicted about who these would work for, like who would enjoy these. I think, you know, if you like working with pencils and adding those sketchy lines, I love the graphite tints. I think they're such a beautiful um, kind of pencil with these like muted colors that you can use for uh, sketching and then activating with water. And then if you paint with watercolors, then I don't know, are these really adding something i mean the colors yeah they are unique and definitely a pan costs i think like a couple of pounds i don't know probably three or four dollars so it's definitely cheaper than you know a tube of daniel smith paint and there are you know this one really reminds me of lunar blue and then this one kind of reminds me of the rembrandt dusk green and they are, they're really nice. I have, I just, I don't know. I, I'm just not sure it's, you know, worth the expense because I'm not sure I'll get such uh, heavy use out of them, especially because I do have the Daniel Smith ones. Now, one of the things that I was really um, concerned or interested in knowing is, you know, if you rub them, if you get that um, residue on your fingers like you get with a graphite pencil. And you do get a little bit. So I don't know if you can see. I mean, this is, it is, I would say, quite heavily uh, applied here. And I think you can see that some of it does come off my fingers. So that to me is a bit of disadvantage compared to my watercolors um, but I think on like a sheet of paper it's not such a big deal uh, especially if you frame it or you uh, spray it with some fixative in a journal you know it's as problematic as using a pencil which I think most of us use in a journal so I guess I need to try it a bit more I was I'm um, surprised by uh, the vibrancy of the colors and I think they're beautiful. Um, to me, these are really kind of the colors I'm falling in love with, uh, what I call or what is called semi-muted colors because, you know, they, they, there's just something really beautiful about them. They're like natural and, and lovely. 
Um, what I like about this set, there's not a lot of like orangey browns. I mean, there's like this color. That's the only brown here. And I appreciate that. I'm not a big fan of brown, but I think it's actually a pretty color. And yeah, the rest are, as you can see, a, a real nice range. So I, I do think that their color choices kind of fit my aesthetics, at least, with a lot of more cooler um, tones, you know, blues, pinks, and uh, turquoises, purples, grays. So, yeah, as you can see, this is what you get. And this is smooth paper, and um, I guess the, the look... Oh, I did want to show you these. Of course, you can mix them, and uh, you can also mix them with your watercolors. It's no problem. And I wanted to show you, I mixed the pink and the green ones. I was just trying to see what I can get. I mean, obviously, you won't get a huge range of other colors here. You'll just get more grays, more browns, or tone down even more the muted colors. But I actually mixed the... Um, yeah, the one of the pinks and the greens, and I got this color, which really, really reminded me of, this is the Daniel Smith Hematite Violet. It reminded me of this, but I think it will actually be a really um, close dupe to the Burnt Scarlet Hematite Genuine. I think that's how it's called. It's a never ending name, um, which really, really looks like this. So, I think if you know you don't want to invest in the Daniel Smith um, like the Primatec uh, tubes like these colors it can be quite pricey um, you could try a couple of these and see if you like them I don't know I have to play with them a little bit and see how I feel about them but uh, it's a cute set I love the pencils time will tell if the uh, pens are also working for me. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye